On this lesson we are going to partition a disk using F disk. You need to be careful when partitioning a disk to unmount any partition on the disk that's going to be configured. If any partition is being used for swap space, then you need to issue a swap off to disable that swap space area. Before running a disk on a disk that contains data, you first need to backup any data on that disk. You can use the FDisk utility to create a partition table, an existing partition table, add partitions or delete partitions. You can either use FDisk interactively or you can use the command line. When you run FDisk interactively, you can specify only the name of the disk, the device, to start the application. So let's see how that works. We're going to use FDisk interactively. First, I'm going to check what disks we have on the system. We have our SDA as our main operating system disk, and we are going to use SDB, which is a disk I've just added for this lesson. So I'm going to run FDisk on this newly inserted disk on our test server. So uh, one of the things that you can do is disable the OS compatibility, which you don't need for Unix systems. It's recommended that you turn off the OS compatibility mode um, to display the 512 byte sectors. This can be done by specifying the minus C and minus U options. So let's see how that works. I've just issued uh, the C and U options for disabling the OS compatibility mode. So let's print. I'm using e uh, P to print the partitions on this disk. There are no partitions here yet. So um, the example output that we've just seen uh, is a modern hard disk uh, which supports LDA which stands for large uh, block area and information about the numbers of heads and sectors on per track is irrelevant because it's um, it, it won't match what the real disk has. Partition table is displayed after the device summary and shows what we have on this uh, on the on this slide. We have the entries here, and which I'm highlighting, and on the slide you you can see what those stand for. The device is the device that corresponds to the partition boot will have an asterisk if the partition is bootable then you have the start and end the start and end are the offsets in the offset in sectors all the partitions are aligned on one megabyte boundaries then we have the blocks which is the size of the partition in in one kilobyte blocks and then you have ID and system, which uh, will show you the partition type. The partition types are most that are most typically used on Oracle Linux are five, which stands for extended, eighty-two Linux swap, which which is used for swap areas, and eighty-three Linux, which is the Linux partition for file systems that are that is not managed by logical volume management, and then you have 8E, 
Linux LVM, which is the type of partition that it's managed by logical volume management. So we're going to modify the partition table that we have on our disk. We're going to use the end command, which creates a new partition. For example, to create a partition table, uh, entries for two Linux partitions on um, with one with five gigabytes in size and and the other that occupies the remaining remaining space we can do let's uh, get our out and start again I'm already as you can see I'm, I'm already using the flags C and U so we don't have to specify them again when we are inside so let's first print our partition table again we have no partitions and let's use n for new we're going to create a primary partition partition number one we can only create four primary partitions as we stated before We are going to leave the first sector as default. And then we are going to add 5 gigabytes to that. We have our first partition in place. And it's uh, ID83, it's a Linux, a Linux type partition. So let's uh, use the T command now. This command allows you to change the partition type. It already pre-selected partition one because it's the only one we have. And we are going to set it to 8E, which is for logical volume management. You can see here that the ID, the type of partition has changed. So let's create a new partition now. Second one. We're going to use the ID number two leave the default you can see that the default that is uh, stating here it's the next cylinder from the end of the last partition I'm going to leave that and I'm going to uh, select the default which will complete all the space in our disk I'm going to make that an LVM partition as well. So now I'm going to write the partition table to our disk. After creating the new partition table, you can use w, the W command to write the table to the disk and exit F disk. If you on the other hand, uh, type Q in this area. Uh, Fdisk will exit without committing any changes to the disk. So uh, we're going to write the changes with W. So let's go inside again and print. We see that the partitions are there. So I'm going to quit. And like that, we've created two partitions on our SDB disk and both are LVM type and between both partitions all the disk is occupied.